Hello, welcome to Blender. Hopefully you've installed, downloaded, and installed Blender. Um, we're using Blender 2.83 this year. <clears throat> uh, two, Blender 2.9 is out, but there are some issues with uh, importing uh, Blender files uh, with 2.9 into Unity. Um, it's just a little bit too new of a version, so 2.83 is just going to work a little easier, I think, for that. Um, Okay, so here's our Blender window. Uh, we're in what is called object mode, so I can select objects. Uh, I have a list of objects over here. I have a camera. I have a default cube, uh, and I have a light uh, that's available up here uh, in my uh, view. And I can click on these different objects to select them uh, in what is called object mode. In object mode, I have some basic tools over here. Uh, I can move things around, uh, drag things around by clicking on these cursors. Uh, I can rotate things. I can scale things up to make it bigger in one direction or yeah, in all directions that I want. Um, there's also a little 3D cursor over here. This is this here. I'm going to click on uh, left click over here to move that cursor around. When I create new objects, that's where they'll be created is wherever I put that 3D cursor here. Uh, you can navigate around the screen. Um, so the easiest way is probably to click on the middle mouse button and drag uh, to span, pan around. Uh, you can also hold down the shift key to zoom in, or if you have a scroll wheel, scroll. If, uh, and then the, sh I mean, that's control to scroll, I mean to zoom, and then shift key will let you pan. Uh, here, so you should probably get used to just kind of moving around a little bit. Un uh, Blender is a very complicated interface, like most 3D modeling programs, but we'll try to keep our uh, access to it relatively simple uh, here. Um, so um, we're in object mode here uh, in layout. We can also switch to modeling uh, menu here. Uh, that has our basic tools, but adds some modeling tools here. It also, by default, switches uh, us from object mode to uh, edit mode, uh, our two main modes that we'll be using here. Um, with this, we could also add uh, new 3D objects uh, here. So uh, if I hit add and I select um, a mesh and I add one of, the, one of either one of the uh, spheres here. It'll add a mesh. It'll add it to wherever I placed the 3D cursor uh, before. So right now it's placed here. Uh, now, now one thing you have to watch is when you add objects, um, are they part of the same object or not? I was in object mode and so when I added this object it's two separate objects and they'll show up as two separate objects here. I'm going to delete that object and just show you. I'm going to do the, go into edit mode uh, here, uh, click on this object, switch back to edit mode, and now if I add uh, a sphere here um, and I switch back to object mode um, now these two objects are the same. I only see the cube over here. So I've just added this object to this object here. Uh, in fact, if I move these, uh, they move together. Uh, and I can't, uh, in object mode, I can't select one without the other. So again, that was because I added this in edit mode rather than object mode. And it just appended it on, so this is like one composite object. Um, let's go back to edit mode. And so in edit mode, there, all of our objects are made of a number of different components uh, here. Um, so, zoom in on this cube a little bit. By default, uh, I, I'm in what is called vertex mode. Every mesh, every model is made of these vertices, these 3D points. Uh, they are connected by edges. So there are these edge modes. So I can select, you can see if I click on these edges, they are selected in white. Uh, and then I can also select faces, so I can select a certain face uh, here. Similar with my cube, I can select faces, I can select an edge, uh, and so depending, that's because I'm in edit mode. If I'm in object mode, I can just select objects. If I'm in edit mode, I just select, I can select these individual components. Um, now when I do my different tools, like I move things, uh, again, if I just have an edge move, that'll just move that whole edge. If I have a vertice, uh, vertex uh, selected, let's go into vertex mode and select a vertex and move that, it'll move just that one vertex. Uh, and if I'm in, I have a face and select a face, 
here, it'll move the whole face out uh, for us. Okay, so I'm I actually added this uh, this sphere over here. I'm going to select that and delete it. So I'm going to hold down or just drag and select that object and hit delete and say delete all the vertices. Delete now. Let me undo that. Um, what happens when I select is I get a bunch of those objects, but it, it doesn't select all of them because some of them are behind uh, it. So if I hit that delete, uh, I might have to highlight that again. And later on we'll talk about how to do different selections uh, here. Okay, so now I'm back. I just have my um, one cube here. Um, and let's just do some simple uh, editing with it. I'm going to go back. Again, I'm in object mode, I select the whole object. In edit mode, I select uh, individual things. And I'm going to make sure I'm in face mode so I can select an individual face here. Uh, and I've got that face selected. And let's try some of these things. This is an extrude tool. We'll use that a lot. I can drag and drop, and that'll pull out that face uh, here. I can use this tool here to create vertices and drag this in and create a bunch. Uh, I can then pull those out if I want, pull that vertice out, oops, not that direction, let's try this direction there uh, for this. Um, and again, I can select a different face uh, and do different objects, uh, do different extrusions here and stuff like that. Uh, I can then resize this in different ways, let's go up above and resize this in a little bit. Okay. So I can create some sort of 3D object. So your goal is just to make some sort of just basic 3D object. Doesn't really matter. So it's just uh, not the cube uh, here, and then save it. Um, so just do file, uh, save. It'll save it as what is called a Blender file uh, here. So um, find some location to save this, uh, and then give it some name. Sample object one and save that Blender file. Um, and then you can submit that Blender file just so uh, you're used to, you have something to submit in Brightspace. I'm just going to quickly show you how uh, we will bring this into uh, a, a model like this into uh, Unity. Uh, for this. So let's say I had Unity running here and I have a project. I can actually save this uh, object in the Unity. I'm going to switch back to object mode, have that object selected. Um, I'm going to do file save uh, here and save that into, blend, into Unity. Um, oops, I already saved it. I have to do save as. Um, and I'm going to locate. So here's my Unity folder. I'm going to go inside my assets folder and just save that here. Call it sample object one. That's fine. Save it there. Um, and then in Unity, when I run Unity, that will show up here. And if I have some scene here, I can then just drag that onto the scene. Uh, one thing I will notice, though, is that it not only adds um, the the object, it also adds the camera and the light here. And so uh, we generally won't want to do things that way. I'm going to actually delete that because again, I get uh, I get same in Blender. I've got the camera, the cube, and the light. I have this whole collection here, and so that all that came over with Unity um, in the Unity. So I'm actually going to go here and do an export. Uh, so I'm going to go export and uh, FBX works really well with Unity. So I'm going to export FBX. I'm still in my asset folder uh, here and there's my asset folder. Um, I'm going to just select uh, export the selected object because I just have that one thing selected uh, here and I'm going to export that. Uh, and so now if I go to Unity I'll just get that one object and inside that object uh, we'll talk about materials, but there's a mesh there, and I can just drag that onto the screen and get that uh, object in the Unity. Oops. Um, so again, you don't have to do that for this thing, but later on we'll be able to just create simple models and then import them into Unity that way. So, so all you have to do uh, for this participation is install Unity. Uh, I, I again suggest a long-term uh, release, 2.83. And, and create some sort of simple object here and then export the Blender file and submit that.